Hey folks, welcome to Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors. This episode is a dash. Went out fishing, went out with Mikey Cosby. We were supposed to be doing the bass trip, and the bass just are not biting right now on the North Shore. They're really deep, and God knows where they are. I think they're hiding somewhere right now, and I can't find them. All right? What? Anybody knows where they are, give me a jingle, all right? However, went out there with Mike through the cast net, got some real fresh bunker. We were going to fish a night trip, and ultimately it was garbage, not a bite. Well, I had a bite, but not nothing really significant, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a quick little snap jigging thing here because something you could do with your kids and you could do it by yourself. Yeah, it's a workout. I wouldn't be using anything heavy when you're doing this stuff. Again, these setups you're going to be watching me use is a really, it's a freshwater rod. It's so light. It's a 2500 series reel with 10-pound uh, braid on it with a double uni knot into a little piece of 10 pound fluorocarbon, all right? I'm tying a little jig that I want to tie to it, this one right here, and uh, just letting it sink, all right? What I'm doing here is I'm using the structure scan now, all right? But on both sides of the boat, I wanna make sure that there's structure or either one side, whatever side it is, I'm just gonna cast that little jig over it, let it fall down to the column above the, uh, the structure, and just jig, it's, it's snap jigging, it's ripping it, all right? That's basically what a fish does when it's gonna attack, it'll dart, all right? They don't dart forever, so that's a very normal presentation to these things. It doesn't look very normal when you're out there fishing it because people are going past me like, what the heck is this guy doing? All right, so basically this little gadget right here that you're seeing is um, is the rig. It's a hunter tied the rig. It's a, just a jig head with uh, some feather on it, some freaking, what the hell is it called? Pheasant tail, whatever the hell it is. Folks, the key with snack jigging is you have to be in structure, all right? I mean, you have to know. But that's where you get your bang for your buck, all right? I see what structure is getting. I can see structure on both sides of me. And I'm just going to just work the jig over. I'm going to let it drop. Anything that's there is going to attack that thing. So if the bass are in there, they're going to go after it. If the big blues are in there, they're going to go after it. Sea bass, etc. That piece is kind of awkward and obnoxious. What? Got prepared tonight's nice dinner. All right. What is it? It's this thing right here. Shot and killed self-defense. I had to do it last year. This is last year's deer. Season's gonna open in a little while for us. Turn that blinker off. It's annoying, here, isn't it? People know I'm making a left eye. Right? Check it out. All right, so I'm gonna run to the supermarket and get some ingredients for this uh, roast that we're gonna be doing in the crock, by the way. Maybe I'll show you a peek of that too, all right? All right, folks, we're gonna be pulling in to uh, get some chat here, right? Key food, you say? Why key food? 
I don't know. It shan't alone. My wife Michelle would snap right now if she saw me going to key food. We're getting onions. How bad can they mess up an onion, all right? Onion barbecue sauce. You'll see in a second. I'll be throwing that in the uh, roast. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're going off t on a, a tangent here. We're going off on a tangent. We're doing the old beer and barbecue sauce base for our seared rump roast of venison. All right, we're gonna make a little I don't know if you call it a stew or roast, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, we're gonna say a little bit of garlic. Gotta put that in the skillet here, right there. Get us a dish, have a little uh, butter and a little olive oil, and then, then we're gonna go to the old mushrooms. All right, mushrooms also go into the skillet, they're gonna be seared just lightly, and uh, we're gonna chop those up. Just the way you see it. You know, nothing crazy. I'm not Bobby Flay. All right, now what's next? The old potato Irish gives a dish. All right? Everyone go bra, whatever you want to call it. We're going to throw that right into the crock pot, though, okay? We don't need to see that at all. That's going to cook in the hot crock pot, along with the uh, carrots. All right, we're going to just do bite-sized pieces of the carrots, throw those babies in there, and they'll cook also, all right? Now let's get back to that skillet. What else we got going in there? We got olive oil in yeah, here, baby. Throw a little olive oil in there with the butter, and we're just going to snuff make them completely translucent but we're just gonna cook them and uh basically till the mushrooms kind of look like this all right look at this mushroom right here all right done all right he's cooked onions look like they're getting cooked garlic too we're gonna throw it all in there and that's it baby we're gonna cook it for uh, like three hours on high and then the rest of the day just on low all right the meat will cook all the ingredients will cook and we're gonna put that over some egg noodles and right, done folks gonna jump in Melly's bad boys right here from oh, cheese up those nation that's correct the con this week's shout out be Uncle Lenny. All right, Lenny caught this nice fluke over here. I'm gonna show you a picture in a second, but let me go through the matrix right now. I got the matrix skills. I can go from like a time warp. Let me just show him something about. Let me go take care of these packages. I got right back to you. Check it out. All right, boys. You'll be getting those in a couple of days. All right, now you know it's been shipped. So you don't have to email you and text you. You'll be knowing that uh, the packages were shipped. Jeff, Jack, check it out. And congrats for winning. All right, let's get back to the con shout out. Here's a picture. Right there, Uncle Lenny. Big fish, South Shore. End of fluke season. Shag it easy. I don't know if that's four, four pounds and change. Still a fish, all right? September, early September, tough fishing out there. That's a good fish. Let's just leave it at that, all right? Lenny, shag it easy. Take care, brush your hair, all right? I gotta go back and take care of some other business. 